so sweet. My, 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 you do look like you have had a day. I don't even want to talk about it. I heard about the awful accident on the radio. I knew you were going to be late, so that's oh, why yeah. I stayed. I had to take all those people to General Hospital. Um, it must have been terrible. Yeah, yeah, from what I heard, it really was. But they were able to take care of all of them, which is wonderful. And then the capra was that just after they'd finished with all of those people, a water main broke and flooded the supply room. I wish I'd been there to help. I feel guilty. You weren't there? Today was Rick's first day as acting chief of staff, so I ran the waterfront clinic today. I'll go in early tomorrow. Oh. To the hospital, I mean. Mm. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, thank you. You, eat. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Dr. Weber, how Hi, nice. I was, hope you don't mind some unexpected company. I, I, no, no, not at all. You're reading. I'm sorry. I, I oh, didn't mean to interrupt. No, silly. please. Dr. Weber, can I get something for you? Alice, no, oh, thank you. Thank you, really. How are you? I'm fine. Good, good. Um... What? Heather, how is she? Oh, Heather's fine. You don't have to worry about her at all. I can assure you on that. Of course. But now, you do remember that I told you that she has got to be watched every minute. I mean, she needs somebody looking after her all the time, sir. Alice, I always think that you have something you want to tell me. You know, I'm available. Please, take me into your confidence. No. No, not a thing. But... I am going to insist that you let me make you a sandwich and get you a nice cup of tea, and no arguments out of you. Thanks. An argument, that's the last thing I want. I've had just about enough for today. Why don't you come and sit down? You don't look like a happy fella. Well, I'm not a very happy fella because primarily one of the biggest things is the way I, the way I talk to you. Ah, good. But listen, you were under a strain, a lot of pressure. It's okay, forget it, it's okay. Leslie, it is not okay. I, I went out, had a very long walk along the waterfront, and I simmered down a little bit, and I came to a very obvious conclusion, and that's very simple to say that I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize for being so stubborn. It's your best quality. Yeah. Of course, if it's someone you're fond of, you realize it's called perseverance. I'm real, real glad you're here. You mind if I sit over here? No, no, Good. not at all. Yeah. Oh, thank you. you. You really didn't have to. I wanted to. Well, this is Thanks. turning into a picnic all of a sudden. Thank you very much. <laughs> you are both welcome. And now if there's not anything else you need me for, I think I'll just be running along. Are you absolutely sure that you wouldn't like to stay here tonight? No. Be no need for that. Well, Alice, I'll run you home then. Oh, no, absolutely not. Uh, you just stay here and finish your snack. Alice, I don't mind, really. I will be fine. Thank you, Good, sir. Good, fine. Good night. See you tomorrow. Uh, right. <laughs> Good night, Dr. Weber. Good night. Oh, Good night. thank you again for keeping an eye on Heather. Sure. Anytime. Bye. Good night. Bye. Right. Well. Well, I thought she'd never leave my seat. It's uh, kind of late for a dinner, you know. Yeah. You think now that you're, you know, getting up there on top of the world that your stomach's going to be able to take it? Eating at this hour, I mean. Uh, you're in rare form tonight. Uh -huh. I, I just hope that it isn't every day. I mean, you know, what happened today was... Ah, uh, baptism by fire. That's what that's called. Yeah, but they've been hitting me coming and going today. Well, look at it this way. It can only get better from here. Uh, I sure hope so. I, um... Hope that Noah Drake doesn't give me any more new problems. Now, I don't... can get by without... You're anticipating. Don't do that. And don't, for goodness sakes, don't hold a grudge. But you're right about that. That doesn't do anyone any good, does it? Right. Think of the time when you were young and eager. Give the kid a break. Leslie. No, thanks. No, that's not very nice. <laughs> But now that you've reminded me of that fact, yes, I'll give him another break. Maybe I'll give him about six more chances. Good, because you'll really be giving yourself a break, too. I don't know what's going on with me. I wanted to uncomplicate my life, right? I wanted to make things simple. Well, what happens now? I'm telling everybody what to do. I mean, I'm, I'm running everything. 
Life seems to have complicated itself all over again. That happens to everybody every now and again. Yeah, but I find myself, Leslie, going in one big circle. I mean, I'm thinking about... Well, when we were married. I mean, not that I mind that at all, but it's... Uh... Don't... Don't go too far back. So I was starting to feel like a human being again. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, hi, Jordan. Well... Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't believe it. Uh, yeah, I do. He's right here, in fact. What? Okay, I will. Yeah. Yes, I can. Yes, uh, we'll be right down. Okay, bye. What? What? Tell me. Georgia! Yeah? It seems that the water leak today got into the electrical system and it blew everything and the hospital is without any electricity. Oh, well, but the backup has got to be back. Well, they've got the generator going that takes care of the uh, cardiac unit and surgery, but they can't get the big generator going, the one that takes care of the rest of the hospital. I'm going to change clothes. I'll be right down. All right, I'll start the car. Okay. Just come on out.